Hi guys, it's Mr. Pharma. It's time of the year. Many of the pharma graduates like B Pharm, D Pharm professionals are completing their diploma and degree courses and are actively looking to do their master degrees or upgrade their pharma knowledge. There are also some of the plus two students who are completing their schoolings and aspiring themselves to become a pharma expert. As the admissions will be opening very shortly from Pharm D, it would be very easy for understanding the doctorate of pharmacy through this video. Today we are going to discuss about what is Pharm D and what are the important aspects and things that we have to know about PharmD. So let's see today everything that you should know about PharmD, the doctorate of pharmacy in 2020. Welcome guys, this is our channel Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. Choosing a profession and career is like a hand picking a needle from a stack of needles. This video gives a summary of PharmD but still you have to explore well to choose your profession. Watch this video fully to have a clear cut idea about PharmD. So let's see now some of the basics of PharmD. PharmD is a Latin term meaning Pharmacia Doctor which means Doctor of Pharmacy. As shown PharmD is the science of preparing and dispensing medicines. In many countries PharmD graduates can prescribe drugs directly to the patients. It is a 6 year course divided into 2 phases. The phase 1 is 5 years of academic study and phase 2 is 1 year of internship. PharmD can be studied after B Pharm as well as a lateral entry. The course will help to develop skills in diagnosis and treatment of diseases with their specific pharma knowledge. So why choose PharmD? You are a doctorate after the completion and you can add doctor title to your name. You can still do PhD after completion of PharmD. PharmD has a more of a diversified career option waiting other than the regular industry and marketing jobs. PharmD has one of the highest paid jobs in many of the developed countries like USA, Canada, Australia etc. PharmD opens the door to the many of the CROs, service based industries and core companies like Quintiles, Paraxel, IQA, Freya, Novartis, Syngen, Biogen and service based companies like Accenture, Cognizant etc. So what is the scope of PharmD in India and other foreign countries? In India it is now compulsory for hospitals to develop drug information centers and will be headed by PharmD graduates and similarly this is applicable for clinical pharmacist positions as well. In India the direct practice is not allowed and more Moreover, the growth of PharmD is limited as there is no proper scope awareness in India. You can get a pharmacist job in USA but there are multiple exams and fees which are little costlier than India and have to work for one year internship. But in US the demand is pretty high. Whereas in UK you have to clear the UK Pharmacy Council certification exams along with the language exams. In Australia you need to clear the IELTS and APC exams then an interview and you have to work under supervision for a time period to be authorized as a pharmacist. So the overall scope of PharmD is high in abroad compared to India but the process is relatively tough. So let's talk about the important topic the salary after PharmD. Let's say now the average salary per annum is 4 lakhs. The pay for a pharmacist in US may range from 1 lakh dollars to 2 lakh 40 thousand dollars or more per annum. In India their average salary per annum may vary depending on the positions and the company. A research scientist may get around 6 lakhs. A regulatory affairs associate may get around 4.5 lakhs and quality assurance guy may get around 3.5 lakhs and medical writer may get around 4 lakhs and the clinical pharmacist pharmacist may get around 3.5 lakhs. In abroad the average salary per annum may vary depending on the country, position and company. The community pharmacist may get around 90,000 US dollars and the care pharmacist may get around 80,000 dollars and the nuclear pharmacist may get around 1 lakh 12,000 dollars and infusion therapy pharmacist may get around 1 lakh 30,000 dollars and finally the research associate may get around 1 lakh 40,000 US dollars. So what is the eligibility criteria for PharmD in 2020? The course was introduced in 2008 by the Pharmacy Council of India. For applying 6 year PharmD course, the candidates must have completed 10th plus 2 level of education from a state or national educational board and must have studied physics and chemistry as a compulsory subjects. They must have also completed 17 years of age or candidates holding a diploma in pharmacy are eligible for first year PharmD course. For 3 year PharmD course, the candidates must have passed bachelor of pharmacy course from an institute recognized under PCA and will be eligible to join the fourth year PharmD and they must also have studied physics and chemistry as their mandatory subjects in plus two. So there are few of the recognized entrance exam for PharmD 
activity which will help you in joining the reputed colleges and those entrance exams are listed here the course fee for average farm d ranges from 10000 to 2 lakhs per annum so the farm d syllabus is divided into phase 1 and phase 2 so the phase 1 is for 5 years and it covers around 5 annual semesters the each semesters and their syllabus are listed here and the phase 2 is about all practical learning and it is about internship so some of my friends ask me how do you choose the best colleges and universities for farmd so use websites like shiksha.com reviewadar.com collegedeco.com getmyuni.com to shortlist the colleges that you want to select and check out for the following aspects before choosing the college check for college pca accreditation and affiliations check for facilities and lab equipments check for the college fees check for the college tie ups to the hospitals and industries check for college placements check for the college professors and lecturers experience and check Check for the college training events, check for the college locations and stays and accommodations and check for the college seniors and contacts to get more details on a particular college. Hope this video gave a complete overview of PharmD. So for peak growth, you can opt for a community pharmacist in abroad and it's not the best option for retail and hospital pharmacies and general manufacturing job roles in India. Hope this slide gives you a complete conclusion and course highlights about PharmD. All the best. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.